we talked about position on the page. The feet of the man in dancing in the front is lower on the page than the feet of the diners and lower than the female uh, dancer. So position is important. Also size. I will want to have figures that are farther away, like these people sitting and eating. They're smaller. They're quite a bit shorter than the foreground. So use size. Um, again, uh, the woman here leaning over is quite a bit longer and taller than the um, saxophone player who is farther away. So size is important. Finally, use overlap. See how the male dancer here, his leg is over overlapping on top of the leg of the woman who is behind him. So is his hand. It shows depth. It shows one thing is in front of another. Here, you got the saxophonist overlapping the legs of the drummer. And that makes him look closer to us than the drummer. So you will use overlap as well. And look at the cut throughs. We're going to have cut throughs too. I'll help you do that. We'll be using paint to show the shift of color. So wherever the cut throughs happen, you will either lighten or darken the background and the foreground. So see how the dancers get lighter and the background get lighter where the cut throughs occur? We're going to have that happen too. One last example of the movement and the simplification of the figures. I don't want our figures to just be standing around. Excellent example of how these cut throughs, these lines that cut through the background and the figure, how they give a sense of like a spotlight, like, like a stage, like lighting on people who are performing. These dancers look like they're standing in a spotlight. That's what we're going for. All right, one last artist to look at. And I just have this here to remind us, simplified forms and also to talk about color. You will be creating your own colors by mixing colors, not just pouring them right out of the bottle. So you need to mix colors to together to be creative and unique and create your own colors. Just like this artist, his name is Milton Avery. And he too, early 1900s is when he was painting and living. So, um, simplified forms. There is motion. They're not just standing straight. Okay. Now what is our goal? Listen carefully. We will be creating and painting a promotional design. Think back to Jermaine Rogers gig posters. If you don't know what I'm talking about, come see me. We will, we will either promote a positive idea, an emotion, or simply a music and dance by finding dancing images. I recommend that as the easiest theme to get started on. Partic pick a particular dance. Don't just, you know, put in dance. Be particular. Name a dance move or a name of a dance. Put that in and look for searches. We'll be focusing on the human figure and be inspired by the simplified human forms of the artists that we just studied. Jacob Lawrence, Bill Trailer, Aaron Douglas, Milton Avery. And we will break up the image with those cut through lines um, and use light colors and dark colors through the shapes, just like Aaron Douglas did, to give an illusion of stage lights or cast lighting. We will have at least three human forms, two of which need to be the entire human, head to toe. All right. The other consideration that I'm going to be looking at when grading is balance. I don't want a bunch of empty space. I don't want everything crowded into one corner. I want the human beings to dominate, to be the bigger part of this, not just a bunch of background. Originality is hugely important. You will be encouraged to look at photos of the human form, but just regular photos. I don't want you working from somebody else's artwork um, that is already simplified. I want you to take something complicated and make it simplified as part of an originality, as part of your creation. All right, also very, very important will be your original color choice. You need to create your own colors by mixing colors. Remember, these are not portraits. So detail of the human is to be minimal. The design is to be focused on the dynamic movement of the figures. I think that's why dance will be the easiest thing to focus on of your choices. Um, there needs to be interaction between the figures. Um, 